Default for 10 tips and tricks. Number one, how to split screen. So to split screen, you go to settings, settings, then you scroll to advanced features, then you go to labs and activate the swipe for split screen. Also, I, re I recommend to activate a multi-window for all apps and this way you'll be able to open as a pop-up or a split screen view. And to, to split screen you just need to swipe with two fingers from the side to another and you can also add another apps to this screen like this or you can go pick them from here I'm gonna pick this one to here. Here we go. For the full screen, it's a little bit different. You open a app and then from the bottom you swipe up and you also split screen. Number two, how to pop up view. For the pop up view, you go to settings, scroll to the advanced features, then you go to labs and activate the swipe for pop-up view and you just swipe from the edge here like this and you get this uh, small window or a bigger one niches the, the size you want and I just swipe this and you, you have different options you can put in the original size or you can um, split screen you can close it you have a lot of options and this way you can just get like a pop-up icon like this you can let him here and you can click again and you will go back to the window where you will you will number three how to save some battery to save some battery you have some options you go to settings then you scroll here to battery and device care then you go to battery here you scroll down and you go to more battery settings then you can enable the adaptive battery here and uh, this will this enabling this option um, the device will learn your habits and uh, will try to it, it will try to save some battery for example at night when you are not using this device it will try to close some secondary apps and something like that to save some battery also, you have the performance profile, and uh, you should you should have it like in the standard mode, and you can switch it to the light mode, so it will um, save some battery also because uh, your CPU will not using the will not be using the max performance. Uh, lastly. You can go in the notification bar and activate the power saving if you want to save more battery. Number four, how to activate battery SOS. So if you are in the middle of nowhere or really need to have some battery to make a call or something, you can go to settings, then you go to safety and emergency, and then you go here in the emergency mode and you activate this and this way your phone will be able to use messages, contacts and emergency calls but other apps and functions will be restricted as you can see here that's it number five how to use the side key so for the side key to activate the side key, because it's really useful if you have this option activated, because you can get notification bar just uh, touching this button like this. So you go to settings here, then you go to advanced features here, then you go to motions and gestures there and then you go to figure finger sensor gestures here and you activate this option and this way when you are swipe up this button or or down you can open the notification bar without needing to use your finger in the screen like this 
Number six, how to take screenshots. To take a screenshot, you can use the hold boy and you just need to press the volume down and the power button and at the same time like this and you take a screenshot. The other way, you go to the settings, then you scroll down, go to advanced features, then motions and gestures here and then you go down and to activate this option, the palm swipe to capture and this way you just need to do something like this and you take a screenshot this also works on the cover screen like this number seven how to translate the internet page so if you want to translate a page i already have a page here open if you are using google chrome you open it and you immediately have an option to translate. For, I have this option to translate to Portuguese. And you can see all the tests. When I click here, it will switch to Portuguese and then again to English. So, how to do this? To enable this, you go to the three dots here. Then you go to settings. Then you scroll down. To languages, then you scroll down, you have you add the languages you want, and then you need to enable this option here. The offer to send pages in other languages to Google Translate. And you click here and choose the, the language you want to translate. I have Portuguese, so when I open up a page is not in Portuguese. It will ask me if you want to translate to another language and you can do this with any language. It's really useful. If you are using the Samsung app to search uh, in the internet, uh, you go to the three bars here and you go to add-ons and um, you need to download this application. I have in Portuguese and it's something like translate from the Samsung internet and you need to download it from the Samsung store. So after installing the add-on, you go here and you need to activate it and then you go to add-on add -on settings, you need to click here the language you want to translate. Uh, before that you need to download the language you want and then I have here the downloaded languages you click here, I have to Portuguese, then you go back and you have the same option as on Google Chrome, as here. Just click to Portuguese and will translate to the language I wanted. This guy is Portuguese or the other you want. Number eight, how to use the lock screen. So to use the lock screen, first of all, you need to have the always on display activated and you go to settings then lock screen here and you need to have this option enabled and you can't have the power saving enabled because if you enable it it will deactivate the uh, always on display as you see so power saving disabled and you activate all those in display and you can customize everything you want you can change the clock style you can add some widgets uh, the alarm you, you have a lot of options here um, and also this is really useful because when you have your phone like locked and you can click on the icons that appear here as you can see and for example, if you have a message or something like in the WhatsApp option, a WhatsApp application, you can just click here and open it, and you can see what's what message you have uh, without needing to unlock your phone. Number nine: How to improve sound quality. Another thing is really useful is to improve the quality sounds of this phone, and you can do this in the Samsung and it will help uh, to improve the, your sound and your quality of sound when you are using some media applications or watching a movie or playing some games and you just need to go to settings again uh, from here sounds and vibrations and here 
you go to sound quality and effects and you can activate the Dolby Atmos one. You have the options to auto or to switch it to the movie, music or voice and also activate the Dolby Atmos for gaming and this way you will get a better quality sound. Number 10. How to customize your keyboard. Another thing really useful on this phone is to customize your keyboard since this cover screen is really small. Uh, sometimes when I was writing some messages I missed a lot of, of keys. So you go to settings and then you go to general management here. Then you go to Samsung keyboard here and then you go to first you go to size and transparency Oop. here size and transparency and you're gonna like you're gonna put as much as bigger as you want I put it in the max size so I don't miss any key then and also then you have another option 12 and is it at the layout uh, probably you have the numbers uh, the numbers in this bar so if you go to the layout and take out the number keys the keyboard will be bigger and you will not miss so many times the, the keys when you are writing a message as you did before okay. This helped you. I hope these tips helped you. So, like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time.